morning. So when you praise the God, the heat is up in here. So if you can, please stand on your feet and help the choir sing and exalt the praises to God. Because I know only myself and everybody has something to thank God for. Only because if you got in your car this morning, if you made the light this morning, you have something to thank God for. So stand on your feet, clap your hands, praise God, and help us out. But it's even better if we love him. Listen now. Ooh. Oh.
Give God praise. Come on, if you know he deserves the praise. Come on and bless him this morning. How many people know he deserves the praise? He deserves the glory. He deserves the honor. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Come on, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto the Lord with praise. How many people know he's worthy to be praised? He's worthy of the glory. Yes, he's worthy of all the honor. We've come to bless the name of the Lord on today. We've come to give him the highest praise. We've come to glorify and magnify his name come on let the redeem of the lord say so i said let the redeem of the lord say so come on you ought to greet about two or three people around you this morning let them know it's good to see them in the house of the lord Hallelujah. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Amen. Father God, we come on this morning giving you the highest praise on this Palm Sunday. We come, God, lifting our voices unto you, saying, Hosanna in the highest. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the praise for you are the most high God. There's none like you. There's none beside you. We thank you for all that you have done for us. All that you're doing even now. Thank you for being Jehovah Jireh our provider thank you for being jehovah nisi you fight our battles thank you for being jehovah Rapha. god you are our healer we just bless your holy name we exalt you we lift you we honor you on this day thank you for covering us all throughout the week Oh, thank you for protecting us. Oh, you're a mighty God. You're an awesome God. You are great and you're greatly to be praised. So bless us even now as we go into your word. We've come out this morning not for show, not for fashion. We've come because we need to hear from you because we seek to grow in you. So anoint me afresh to be a blessing unto your people. And we're praying even now that souls will be saved, that lives will be transformed, that the church will be revived. God, deliver somebody in this place on today. Uh, heal somebody in the house on today. In Jesus' name, we ask it all. Let the church say amen. amen. Come on, put those holy hands together. Amen. Hallelujah. Turn with me 
turn with me to the Gospel of Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew in chapter 21, amen, on this Palm Sunday, amen, want to thank all who participated in our food drive on last week, amen, we thank you for donating items to be a blessing to those who are in need, amen. We collected 468 pounds, amen, of food, amen. That was enough for 396 individual meals. Oh, somebody ought to bless God. I told you how about 40% of the people who go to the food bank now a days are first time customers. And so the pandemic has had a great impact on individuals. People who you wouldn't think would go to a food pantry are now going to food pantries. People lost jobs, amen. Those frontline workers, some people had to move out of their homes. And so it's not just about the food, amen, because what we have discovered is that if people know that food is taken care of, now they got money for gas. Now they got money to pay the light bill. Now they got money, amen, to help them out with their rent. And so we need to understand that there's a trickle down effect that happens when we bless people amen in that kind of way and so providence thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and being a blessing to the downtrodden within our community amen amen matthew chapter 21 starting at verse number one i'm reading from the new international version amen if you don't have your word it's up there on the screen it said, as they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples saying to them, go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her coat by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them. And he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey, on a coat, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the coat placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd sp spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest and when jesus entered jerusalem the whole city was stirred and asked who is this the crowds answered this is jesus the prophet from nazareth in galilee amen you may be seated in the presence of god jesus rides in on a donkey and a coat into Jerusalem. I want to talk with this title in mind, Ride Alone. Ride Alone. Jesus, we're told, approach Jerusalem with his disciples. They came to a town we discover on the Mount of Olives. And he sent two of his disciples to a village ahead of him. He wanted them to secure, obtain a donkey and a coat. He said, untie them 
and bring them to me. And if anyone says something to you, tell him that the Lord needs them. The disciples went and did what they were told. They brought back the donkey and the coat. They placed their cloaks on them and Jesus sat upon them. And this happened, church, to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet Zechariah. See, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey, on a coat, the foal of a donkey. Don't miss it. Check out how Jesus is referred to by the prophet. Notice how he's spoken of by Zechariah. Zechariah informs us that Jesus is gentle. He lets us know that the Lord is kind. I love it because Jesus is king, but he is gentle. He is Lord, uh, but he is kind. He's the Messiah, but Jesus is peaceful, which means know that your posture should match your position. He's the king, y'all, but he's not harsh. He is Lord, but he's not rude. He is ruler, but he's not cruel. He has a posture to match his position. See, if you are saved, then you should be holy. If you're a believer, you shouldn't be nasty. If you are a saint, you should not be rude. Know that your behavior ought to match your position. You should show love. If you're a believer, you should spread joy if you are saved. You shouldn't be mean if you're a saint. Know that your demeanor should match your position. Yeah, we need some people, y'all, with some compassion. We need some people who are willing to forgive. We need some church folk who aren't messy. Know that your conduct should match your calling. And I may have a witness, y'all. We, we are living in a day, amen, where people can't tell the difference between church church folk and folk who are in the world. Huh? Yeah, we have to show love. We, we have to be patient with people. We ought to have some compassion with folk. Huh? Yeah, people should be able to see a reflection of the Lord when they look at our posture. Do I have a witness this morning? Uh, yeah, you don't need to be rolling your eyes and smacking your teeth. You don't need to be putting people in their place. I see you smiling at me. Yeah, yeah. You have to show love and you got to have compassion and you ought to pray for folk and, and you ought to be willing to praise God because your posture ought to match your position. The Bible says, let everything that has breath uh, praise ye the Lord. Uh, that means everybody who's a believer, amen, ought to be willing to give God some glory. Yeah, our behavior ought to match our position. Jesus says, if they if they don't cry out, guess what? The rocks are going to cry out for me. In other words, he says, you have a position 
within the kingdom where you ought to be willing to lift him up oh my god do i have a witness here this morning that can testify it's your assignment to give god the praise yeah it's your purpose to give god the glory david said i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord. Look at that direction of David. He said, I was glad. I wasn't sad. I wasn't depressed. I didn't have an attitude. That's why when you come into the house, you ought to have a smile on your face. The Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. The praise team shouldn't have to pump you up. You ought to come in the building with your praise. You ought to come into the building with your shout. Do I have anybody in here that can say, I don't need an organ. I don't need drums. I can praise him for myself. I can worship for myself. I can lift him up for myself. I came to worship this morning because the Lord has me on assignment to make sure that my posture lines up with my position. He says he comes gentle, uh, riding on a donkey. When people look at you, Oh, my God. Does your behavior line up with your position? When people hear you, <laughs> uh, can, can they tell that, amen, your posture lines up, amen, with, with your purpose and your position within the body of Christ? Uh, we we got to make sure that, that our behavior matches our position. So preacher, what lessons do you learn when, when you move forward? Because here's Jesus, he's riding alone. Yeah, what, what lessons do you learn when, when you move forward? Here's the first one that we discover in the text. Know that what you possess doesn't determine your worth. <laughs> yeah, as you move along in life, know that what you possess doesn't determine your worth. Jesus sends two of his disciples into a village. And he tells them to retrieve a donkey and a colt that are tied up. They followed his command and secured the two animals. They brought them to him and he sat upon them. Look at it, y'all. He is the king, but he's riding on a donkey. He's the Messiah, but he's riding on a colt. Look at it. He's not in a chariot, but he is Lord. Which means what you possess doesn't determine your worth. That's important because some people acquire things so that they can feel valuable. Uh, they go after stuff to make them feel special. They desire titles so they can feel important. But what you possess does not determine your worth. See, if you don't have a title, you are still valuable. If you don't wear Gucci, you are still special. If you don't drive a Benz, you are still important. Know that what you have doesn't determine your worth. If you don't have a spouse, you're still the head. If you don't 
half a master. You're not the tail. If you don't have a house, you're still special. You're still the apple of God's eye. And how many folk can say, I don't have a mansion, but I'm still valuable. I don't wear Prada, but I'm still important. I don't have a bachelor's, but I'm still special. As a matter of fact, I'm a holy nation and a royal priesthood. I don't have a lot, but I still have worth. If you don't have a husband, hold your head high. If you're in an apartment, stick your chest out. Don't be ashamed of what you got because what you got don't determine your worth. And how many people know you're not the manager, but you're still important. You don't drive a Lexus, but you're still special. You don't have much, but you're still somebody because what you got don't determine your worth. He said, I'm on a donkey, but I'm still the king of kings. <laughs> And the Lord of Lords. See, that's how you got to be out here. You can drive a hoopty and still have a smile on your face. Do I have a witness up in here? How many people know you don't have a lot, but you're still worth? So he says, what you got? Don't determine your worth. Yeah. Stop trying to go after stuff. So that you can feel important about yourself. You know what? There are a lot of people going broke trying to go after stuff. Just to make them feel valuable. Oh my God. You don't need stuff to make you feel valuable. Because your value is connected, amen, to your relationship with your God. <laughs> I, I, I like this night, next point. It's, it's going to bless somebody. Um, know that as you proceed, God will provide. Ah. <sighs> The, the disciples secured the donkey and the coat for Jesus. They brought it to him and he sat upon it. And a very large crowd, we're told, spread their cloaks on the road. Others cut branches from trees and spread them on the path. Look, look at it. They put their cloaks down to make the ride smoother. They put branches down to make the ride better. Don't, don't miss it because before he started, the ride was bumpy. Yeah, the road was bumpy. Um, before he began, amen, things looked shaky. But as he moved forward, they put down their cloaks. Are y'all listening to me? As he moved ahead, they laid down branches. As he rode along, the ride got better. Which means as you proceed, God will provide. This is good. Because a lot of people want to see that the road is smooth from the start. 
See, see, things look rough at the start. And a lot of people don't get started because they don't know how they going to make it based on what they see from the start. Okay, let me help you out. God don't tell you everything at the start. But as you move forward, oh my God, things will get clearer. The ride will get smoother. Do I have a witness in here? All, all I'm trying to say is things may not be in place before you move forward. Uh, it, it may seem shaky. Shaky, rather, before you get started. You may not have all the answers before you begin. But as you proceed, God will provide. You got to trust him when you can't see your way. You got to have faith. When you don't have all the details. Yeah. Although you're in the dark. You have to believe. And know that as you proceed. God will provide. And how many people know that God is faithful. I said how many people know that he is Jehovah Jireh. Because you couldn't see your way, but God stepped in. You didn't have all the details, but God showed up. Things look rough before you got started. But as you move forward, God provided. Yeah, step by step, he opened doors for you. Little by little, things got better. Day by day, things improved. Prove. As you proceed, he'll supply what you need. And how many folk can say things look rough, but God worked it out. It looked impossible, but God came through. I didn't have all the answers, but I stepped out on faith. And as I proceeded, he supplied what I needed. Pastor, I don't have the money. Just ride along with him. And as you move along, God will supply it. Do I have a witness? I don't have the credit. Oh, just step out on faith. And as you step out, God will make a way for you. I don't have my degree. Send in your resume. And as you move forward, doors will start to open. The money will start to come. Do I have a witness here? How many people know that we walk by faith and not by sight? So Keep riding along. Keep moving forward. Keep trusting God. Because that's what God wants. God wants to know if you trust him. Even though you don't have the money. Because if you can move out. God said I'll open doors for you. Because you're moving forward for me. Let me know that you trust uh, that I'm going to make a way for you. Uh, that you believe uh, I'm going to work it out for you. Uh, do I have somebody here uh, that can say I stepped out on faith uh, and God bless my life. Uh, I move forward anyhow uh, and he made a way for me. Uh, somebody 
somebody ought to give God praise. If he supplied your needs, you ought to give God glory. If he opened doors for you, you ought to bless his name. If he provided for you, you ought to clap those hands. You ought to throw back your head and give God somebody give God praise I dare you to look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor keep riding tell them keep trusting keep believing because God will show up I said God will step in I said God will provide if you move out as you proceed he'll provide he said keep on moving forward as long as you keep moving forward you'll see me provide for you but if you stay where you are uh, waiting for your ducks to get in a row uh, God said I can't open doors for you uh, but step by step uh, I'll make a way for you uh, day by day uh, I'll supply All right, here's the last thing on this Palm Sunday. Yeah, God said you got to move out. Even though it looks rough right now. Even though you ain't got the money right now. He said, because if you move out, that lets me know that you trust me. And if I know that you trust me, I'll start opening doors for you. Uh, here, here's the last thing on this morning. Know that your condition is just for a season. <laughs> Jesus sent his disciples to a village to retrieve a donkey and a colt. He told them to untie the animals and bring them to him. He, he said, if anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them. Then one version states that Jesus would return the animals back to them shortly. You miss your shout. In other words, he would only need the donkey and the coat to ride them into Jerusalem. He would only need them, y'all, for his triumphal entry. He would ride on them and send them back immediately, which means know that your condition is just for a season. She said, I'm only going to be on this donkey <laughs> for a little while. I'm talking to somebody right now who, who's in a messed up situation where you're living in contradiction to what God promised you. He said, y'all can laugh at me all you want to riding on this donkey, but I'm only on this donkey just to get me into Jerusalem. See, sometimes God will put you in a situation just to get you somewhere until he opens another door to take you to the next level. See, days after the ride, God would take him higher. A few days later, God is going to lift him up. 
don't, don't miss this. And instead of being seated on the donkey, he's going to be seated on the throne. <laughs> because early Sunday morning, he's going to get up with all power. See, that's why if you're having hard times, don't be discouraged. If you are struggling right now, don't lose heart. If you're in a jam right now, don't fall apart. Because where you are is just for a while. Because how many people know that God can turn things around for you? How many people know that he can flip it in your favor? Yeah, you were sick, but he healed your body. You were bound, but he brought you out. You were down, but he picked you up. Because I heard that trouble don't last always. And if he fix things for you, you ought to give God praise. If he took you higher, give God the glory. I said if God flipped the script. You ought to clap your hands Every chance you get You ought to bless his name If things are better Lift him up If you've seen a change You should rejoice If you are down Don't be dismayed Because weeping may Endure for a night But joy I said joy Will come In the morning time Would you look at somebody and tell them Give God some time And he'll work it out Wait on the Lord And he'll turn things around because where you are is just for a while. Give him some time and he'll take you higher. Do I have a witness here? How many people know he lifted you up? How many people know that he took you higher? Is there somebody here that can testify that when you look back over your life and think things over you can truly say that you've been blessed if you're no longer in the place where you used to be you ought to clap your hands I said if you're no longer where you were last year you ought to give God praise I said if you're out of the apartment give God the glory if he got you out the hospital give him the praise if you're no longer sick give God the glory take a minute right now and lift him up would you high five your neighbor and tell your neighbor I've got to give him praise for taking me higher I've got to give him glory for lifting me up because I was down but he picked me up he turned me around he Place my feet uh, on solid crown, uh, and so I can't be quiet, uh, I can't be cute, uh, I can't be sophisticated. Uh, 
I gotta lift him up. I've got to give him the glory. I've got to give him the honor. I wish I had a few people who could walk out in the aisle and say, God, I trust you. I don't have the money, but I'm a ride along with you. I don't know how it's going to work out, but I'm going to keep on stepping. And little by little, day by day, I'm going to give you the praise. I'm going to give you the glory. Don't have the money, but God, I'm moving forward. Don't have the degree, but God, I'm moving ahead. Do I have a witness? Do I have somebody who can ride along with me? Ride on, King Jesus. I said, ride on, make a way for me. Open doors for me. Supply my every need. Do I have a witness this morning? Would you grab your neighbor by the hand? and tell them step by step tell them day by day tell them little by little keep giving God the praise keep giving God the glory keep giving God the honor I can't see my way but I know the Lord will make a way somehow do I have a witness this here do I have somebody here that can say I don't know how it's gonna work out but I'm still trusting God I'm still believing God I'm still gonna believe that he's gonna work it out for me that he's gonna open doors for me that he's gonna supply my every need High five your neighbor Tell your neighbor He made a way for me He opened doors for me He supplied my every need I need about 50 people Who can stand up on their feet And say God I still trust you God I still got faith And I'ma keep giving you the glory I'ma keep Keep giving you the honor. I'm going to keep lifting you up. Somebody say yeah. Say yeah. Say yeah. If you're watching online, give God the praise. I said if you're watching online, give God the glory. Put your grits down right now. Give God the praise. Put the food down right now. Give God the glory. Clap those hands. Stomp your feet. Open your mouth. Throw back your head. Give God the praise. Somebody say it. Yeah. Say it, say it, yeah. How many people know he's worthy? I said, how many people know he's worthy? He's worthy. Come on, he's worthy. I said he's worthy. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. He's worthy. I said he's worthy.
Jesus said, ride along with me. I know you ain't got all the answers right now. I know you got a lot of questions right now. But the Lord said, keep on riding along with me. And as you proceed, God said, I'll provide what you need. See, a lot of people, they get stuck in park because they're waiting for the Lord to provide before they ever move forward. No, God said, that ain't the way it works. He said, you got to step out. When you take a step, that'll let me know that you trust me. And as you move forward, he said, I'll make things clearer for you. He, he said, I'll, I'll make the ride smoother for you. But, but I can't give you all the money up front. <laughs> because if I gave you all the money up front, you wouldn't have to trust me. <laughs> yeah, if I worked everything out right now, he said, you don't need no faith. That's why sometimes God has to leave us in the dark. Because at the end of the day, God is working on our faith. He wants to know if we truly trust him. When you don't have the details. When you don't have all the money. Yeah, if you stay in park, that sends a message to God that you really don't trust him. That you really don't believe. But when you march out, when you ride along, you send a message to God. God, I trust you. I believe that you're able to do this for me. And so I'm going to ride along. <laughs> I love it. No, notice that Jesus moved forward. That, that's what this faith journey is about. It's about moving forward. He, he, didn't, he didn't decide, amen, to go in reverse. L listen to that. He, he knows he's going to a cross. He knows that he's going to be crucified. But in spite of all of that, he decided, I'm still going to move forward. <laughs> I'm still moving ahead. And I'm going to trust that God is going to do what he said. That early Sunday morning, he's going to get me up with all power. Oh, my God. Look at the trust that he had in the father knowing what he would face knowing what he would have to deal with look there may be somebody here on this morning amen and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior we, we've come amen to encourage you to ride along with us <laughs> yeah get, get, get on amen this train that we call Amen Providence, that we call Zion. Get on board. Amen. If, if, if you want to get to the place where the Lord has for you, you, you got to get on board. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't stay where you are because if you stay where you are, you're going to miss out on your destiny. You're going to miss out on your season. You, you need to get on board this morning. If you hear this this morning, this is a great Sunday for you to be saved. This is Palm Sunday. Yeah, the Lord has come in this morning 
amen, to receive you, uh-huh, for himself. So you can get on board. Make him your Lord. Make him your Savior. Allow him to take you to the place that God has ordained for you. If you're, if you're in here on this morning, even if you're watching online and you're unsaved and you're saying, I need to get on this train. I need to get on board. Yeah, because I want all that God has for my life. I don't want to miss out on my destiny. I don't want to miss out on the promises of God. If you're here this morning, would you walk out right now? Amen. If you're watching online and you want to be saved, you're saying, I want to get on board. Amen. Go to the inbox right where you are. Amen. Give us your name. Give us your number. And we'll have somebody to reach out to you real soon. Get on board. Maybe you're here and you're looking for a church home. Amen. And the Lord has spoken to you this morning saying, this is the spot that I need you connected to. I need you to get on board this morning if you're here looking for a church home. We would love to have you as a member of Providence. We would love to have you on board with us as we continue to move forward in the direction that God has for us. So if you're here this morning, would you walk out right now? Amen. Unsaved or looking for a church home. There may be somebody online, amen, looking for a church home. And you found your spot this morning. You're saying, this is the place. This is the house I want to be connected to. If that's you, reach out to us online. Go to the inbox. Give us your name. Give us your number. And we'll have somebody to reach out to you real soon. Is there one on today, unsaved or looking for a church home unsaved or looking for a church home hallelujah if everybody's saved everybody's connected come on let's give god praise in the house on today glory to god you may be seated in the presence of our god amen as we come on this morning Church, we want to be in prayer. We want to be intercessors. We want to be the priests that God has called us to be. Amen. Lift up Brother Stanley Norris and his family and the passing of his sister. That homegoing celebration with this past weekend in Illinois. Amen. So we want to be in prayer for Brother Norris and his family. That God will strengthen them, grant them his peace at this time be in prayer amen for brother merlin logan he's due to be released on tomorrow he said amen amen be in prayer for sister angela brown she had a procedure this past week and so we want to pray for her healing her recovery Continue to be in prayer for Deacon the Sharps. Amen. And Sister Alfreda Patterson is in Riverside. Amen. And so we want to lift her up in prayer as she recovers. Had a procedure done. And so she's healing, recovering at this time. Those names that are listed in our bulletin, we want to continue to intercede for them as well. We have a thank you card, amen, Deaconess Grant. I want to thank the church for the calls, for the prayers, for the cards, amen, as she had procedure not too long ago. And so we're going to continue to lift her up in prayer as well. Amen. Amen. Deacon is coming now to lead us in this prayer of intercession. You ought to bow your head as we go to the Lord in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord God, in your house of prayer, Lord God, to give you all the praise, down and the glory. Once again, Lord God, we thank you for being here, Lord God. 
to hear your word today, Lord God. Continue to bless our pastor, Lord God. Gird him up, Lord. Renew his strength, Lord God. Anoint him afresh. Bless him and his family, Lord God. We pray your word will resonate us, God, oh God, and we will just be hearers and doers of your word. Lord God, to be an example to those, Lord God, around us, Lord God, that we can be a light, Lord God, to those in darkness. And we will lift you up, Lord God. So we lift you up, you'll draw all mankind unto you. Let us be witnesses, O oh God, to tell others of the good news of Jesus Christ. Because that's what it's all about, Lord. Not about us, it's all about you. And Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for all you've done for us, Lord God. We lift up those, Lord God, who are in need of prayer for all kinds of infirmities, Lord, sickness, surgeries, procedures, whatever the issue is, Lord God, you are a healer. Jehovah wrote by God, our healer. We thank you for your healing virtue. Touch each and every one, Lord God, names that were called out, Lord God. We will touch them from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord God, we thank you for that healing. We pray for those, Lord God, who are going through situations, Lord God. We all are going through something. Lord God, whether it's strife, Lord God, in the, in the home, Lord God, on the job. Lord God, marital issues, Lord God. Lord God, issues with friends and family, Lord God. We just pray we look to the hills that come with our help. All our help comes from you, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, that you can guide us, Lord, by your Holy Spirit. Through your word, Lord God, and give us comfort, Lord God, and strength, knowing that you are in control and you are always there with us, Lord God. For you never leave us, nor will you ever forsake us, Lord God. We thank you for the power of your spoken word. And Lord God, we lift up those who lost loved ones now, Lord God. Give them your peace, Lord God. Comfort them, Lord God. Lord God, just strengthen them day by day, Lord God, for it takes time, Lord God, and Lord God, you are able, Heavenly Father. And you know, Lord God, that you are the true and living God. You can do all things, Lord God. For all things, you can do all things through you, Lord. We just thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord God, for all you've done for us, Lord God. The price you paid on the cross for our sin, Lord God. Redeeming mankind, Lord God. Lord God, paying the price and shedding your blood and raising from the dead, Lord God, with all power in your hand. And we thank you, Lord God, for sitting on the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. And we thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace, your perfect love, Lord God. And we bless your holy name, Lord God. And we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, Lord God. For you are truly worthy to be praised. And we truly thank you, Lord God. It's in Jesus' name we do pray and ask it all. Amen. 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 Thank you. Deacon Evans for that prayer. Amen. On this week, amen. Pastor will be in Holy Week Revival at Solomon's Temple in Smithfield, Virginia. That's on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Amen. So be in prayer for Pastor. Amen. If you can make it out, amen. We would love to see you over there. Wednesday, amen, Bible study as we continue in the series, Family Feud, amen, trying to get relationships back on track, resolve conflict in a godly way. And so meet us online, amen, at 7 p.m. Wednesday. Encourage somebody to join us on this Wednesday. Don't forget amen youth church is every sunday amen and so why while we're here in the main sanctuary our youth are over in the fellowship hall amen having amen worship on their level teaching on their level and so we want you to be mindful of that our nursery is open as well and so if you have amen infants amen who need that kind of ministry amen we have our nursery available as well next sunday next sunday is resurrection sunday amen yeah well we recognize amen the rising of our lord and savior amen from that borrowed tomb so we want you to make plans to be here with us amen pastor want to encourage you to bring somebody with you bring somebody with you on next sunday as we seek to celebrate 
the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Are there any visitors with us on this morning? If you're visiting with us, would love to see you stand so that we can acknowledge you at this time. Any visitors, you're not a member of Providence, please stand so that we can see you. Remain standing for us. We thank and we bless God for your presence with us on today. Thank you for taking the time to come out and worship with us on today. Amen. I want to encourage you to come back and visit with us real soon. Hopefully you have been blessed on today in some kind of way. And so we would love to have you back with us soon. Amen. In the house. Come on, Providence. Let's give God praise for all of our visitors on today. You may be seated in the presence of our God. It's giving time. It's giving time in the house of the Lord. We've come to give unto the Lord. We've come to bring, amen, our tithe and our offering unto him. Amen. So that ministry can go forth the way God has ordained. Don't forget about our giving campaign. Amen. As we seek to renovate the main sanctuary. Amen. We want to encourage you. Amen. To be faithful to those pledges that you made. Right now we're at $33,036.29. Amen. Yeah. Down to the penny. And so we're looking forward to raising Amen. That $200,000 over the course of these two years. Amen. If you have not made a pledge, we want you to make a pledge. Find the level that God would have you to give on. Amen. Ushers should have some pledge cards. If you're in need of a pledge card, just raise your hand so that they can get one to you. Amen. We want to bring this vision that God has given us to pass. We want to make sure that the church is equipped for the next generation to come, even this present generation that we're serving. And so if you don't have cash this morning, if you don't have a check, you can give using your credit card or your debit card. Information is there on the screen. You can go to givelify.com. Amen. Find Providence Baptist Church 13. 31 30th Street here in Newport News VA. Amen. You can give online right now, givelify.com, or you can go to the Cash app if that's your preference. Put in the dollar sign PBC News Live. Dollar sign PBC News Live. Those are the ways that. You can give, amen, if you're watching online. You can even mail. You can mail your tithe, your offering to the church office, amen, and someone will make sure it gets to the proper place, amen. How many people know he's Jehovah Jireh? He's our provider, amen, and so we come to bless the name of the Lord and giving of our first fruits, our tithes and our offering on this morning. Deacon is coming at this time to lead us in this offertory prayer. We ask that you remain see, seated. Amen. The ushers will come uh, to your pew. Amen. And have you to walk down and you can be dismissed after you give your offering. Amen. Amen. Let us bow. Dear Heavenly Father, we come in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Thanking you for providing for us, O oh Heavenly Father. We ask you to bless this offering, O oh Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. How many people have been blessed on today? <laughs> Hallelujah. Ride along. Amen. No matter how it's looking right now, keep trusting. Keep the faith. Know that God will provide for you. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. To him who presents us faultless before his throne with exceeding great joy. 
to the only wise and true God. May God bless you in the city. May he bless you in the field. May he bless your going out and your coming in, both now and forevermore. Let the church say amen. amen. God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Come on, wave at me, wave at me. Y'all have a good week. Have a safe week.